Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos and I'm here at San Lorenzo Magore and I'm doing the cloister. And uh, I tried to break it up. You know, I realized the videos are getting to be, you know, 20, 30, 40 minutes long. And so I'm trying to split up. So the church was 10 minutes. Let's see if I can keep the cloister down to a couple minutes and then we'll do the underground. Bye everybody. Okay, so this is San, Ma San Lorenzo Magore cloister. And uh, you know me, let's start with the, the, the incredible shot right off the bat, which I always like. And this one isn't nearly as big, um, but this is the entrance to the underground. And the underground is, you know, the underground part of Rome or of Italy. Um, it's pretty amazing. Um, I'll go in there in a second. That's part of the cloister. But this is the cloister. Okay, so the phone overheated. And so I had to start over. You know, when you're trying to process videos and trying to uh, upload videos and everything else, I guess it gets uh, pretty hot. So anyway, this is the cloister area. And I would love a square like this. Imagine if this was your house, how wonderful that would be. A big open area to play and have fun and You can even have a little pool in here, a barbecue area, tennis court. <laughs> San Lorenzo Magore. And it has original pillars, which is pretty amazing. And I like the marble too, you know. Hmm. Amazing. Is this in English? Uh, the Pope, the third on November 29th, 1223 with the Papua Lady. Huh. His donkey and an ox, according to the account of the gospel, these animals were near baby Jesus and over, okay the birth of Jesus in Naples, following the footprints of San Francisco. <laughs> so we need to do our nativity scene. Interesting. Ooh. All the lights just came on and everything started moving. <laughs> so the guys in there cooking. See his little thing moving? And the lady's up there washing clothes. And the guy's in there cooking stuff. You can see him stirring. And this guy's in here doing woodworking lathe stuff. Interesting. But the frescoes on the wall look like they're all original. English? Nope. Great pillars. English? Nope. <laughs> wow. Look at that ceiling now. Wow, and the lights come on too. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, these look original. You can see how this one's kind of worn out up there. 
That's the main one, huh? Oh, look at that. That's interesting, too. Look here, you can see where the ceiling cracked. It sounded just like that, too, when it happened. So I'll go through it again. Put this way on wide angles, so you can see more of it, maybe. You know, there really is quite a bit in Naples to see. Enough to keep Eric Clark entertained for a month anyway. I was thinking about going home and doing a video on, on how many videos I've done in Naples in how many days, and then how many miles I've walked, how many, um, you know, it's like a stats almost. And it looks like this is to the underground. Uh, entrance to the archaeological area allowed only to the people with tickets. <laughs> okay. Let's go in this room too. Wow. And their dog too. It's a great pillar and ceiling. Huh. Pretty amazing. Hey everybody, this is the cloister at San Lorenzo Magore. Pretty amazing. And I think that's a good shot to end with, huh? Very nice. Okay, everybody, thanks for coming along. Let's go do the underground. Bye-bye.